Well, on this date last year, the Family Justice Center opened its doors in Upper Marlboro to assist victims of domestic violence and other forms of abuse get the protection they need. One year later, clients and staff reflect on the center's growth and plans for the future. Looking at this year retrospectively, I would say that it's really been one of growth, uh, development, and progress. We were very, very successful in that we've achieved many of the significant milestones. Today, when I look back on it, it's like we're one family. The 23 partners that are here have all come together and, and feel that they're a team. And that has really been what I think the mission of this facility has been, uh, to collaborate, to communicate, and to make sure that we're serving people in a way that's not just holistic, but also one that gives them the feeling and sense that they're really getting the services that they need. When you're under attack, the last thing you want to do is travel from here to there, and half the time, you're on the run. Yeah, you don't even know how you managed to get to the first place you got to. And then someone's going to send you to five other places. But if you can get here, they can put you with the people that you need. And then even after then, you have further help. It's like a family. I think of a client that we were helping very recently. We worked tirelessly with a number of organizations and we were finally able to not only get this woman in shelter, we were able to connect her with social services where she was able to get financial assistance. In addition to that, we have a legal team here and is helping her with uh, child support and custody matters, which again, the value and the beauty of this facility is that all of those resources were here under one roof. We really care about these people and we understand their plight. We understand the struggles. We understand how difficult it is to sometimes just basically access services, not to mention the fact that, you know, these people are in crisis. Don't try to take it on by yourself. Get the help and support you need. You'd be surprised at who is out there willing, ready, and able to help you. We have a tremendous team of, of partners that are here. They're all truly committed, dedicated, to this work and again it, those are the things that I think people oftentimes overlook but it could be very different if we had different people in here if we had different leadership I don't know that we would have been able to achieve the things that we have this year so I'm very grateful for that and the Family Justice Center is an initiative of the Prince George's Circuit Court for more information visit PrinceGeorgesCourts.org 358